While the 90s certainly gained a nice collection of memorable TV shows throughout the decade, it also had its share of shows that many would rather forget. The show I'd like to talk about today is the 1990 show Puchinski. This thing is real quality, let me tell you. I mean, it was so amazing that they felt that they never needed to air more than one episode. It did manage to cast a respectable actor in Peter Boyle, and this guy George Newbern, who looks familiar, but I just can't place him right now. The two are partners on the police force, with Peter Boyle playing the title character, Puchinski. When Puchinski isn't busy sexually harassing the dispatcher and sounding like Ghostface from the movie Scream, Anyway, when he's not doing that, he's cracking cases. One day after buying some street meat, he threatens some kids in an alleyway. This is where he finds a bulldog and they make out a little bit and share some food. Puchinski decides to keep the dog and just bring him along while he's on duty. Keeping a dog you just found in an alleyway without getting him checked out first seems like a really smart move. Meanwhile, Puchinski's partner is being a whiny little bitch and trying to put in for a transfer. He cites incompatibility, the dog, and flatulence as reasons why. He's forgetting the most important one, though. How about that he's just plain fucking creepy? I mean, look at this. Hmm. He's then put into his place and basically told a soldier the fuck up. Who caught the post office bomber? Puchinski. Don't confuse hygiene with character. Shit goes down during a stakeout at an ATM machine. His partner manages to chase the culprit into the parking garage. He gets four shots off at close range that only manage to crack the windshield, which is magically repaired in the next frame. When the culprit comes bombing out of the garage, Puchinski has to save the dog. I wonder if this is the moment where he thought to himself, just think of the paycheck. He manages to save the dog, but it doesn't look too good for him. And in his last moments, Something amazing happens. Surprise! And he's laughing about it, like, huh, huh, I must be going crazy. Are you fucking kidding me? Everybody falls in love somehow. Pachinski, how did you become a dog? I... I wouldn't even be asking that question. So I ran to the end of the road. Puchinski explains how he saw a bright light and next thing he knew he was a dog. Sure, whatever. He asks about catching the killer, but his partner explains that he's been unfortunately taken off the case. His partner then says he's going to go talk to the captain about getting reinstated so they can find this killer. They go back to the station and Puchinski pisses on a guy's leg. And we also discover that the dispatcher Casey isn't as sexy as she sounds. Ugh, did, did we really need to see that? When he walks into the chief's office to ask about getting reinstated on the case, the chief is just way too nice. I have never seen a police chief in the history of film slash television who is this nice. I'm thinking he definitely has a hooker under that desk. Good to see you, son. Come on in. Have a seat. Wait a second. Even in horrible 1990 low def, I recognize this guy as playing a captain before in something else I've seen. I think I can fix this. That's more like it. So after the talk with the captain and some bestiality, he's back on the case. We then go back to his apartment where Puchinski tries to help him with his love life. Not that he needs it though, because the woman he's sort of kind of into in his apartment building is practically ovulating over him. You're going to give me that dong, Dale. My dog? Even at one point, she just kind of barges in with her daughter, insisting that she's going to cook him dinner. Wow. Talk about having a third wheel with you. Jeez. Man, this woman is really looking for somebody to raise her kid. Honestly, this would piss me off. I mean, granted, I'm not doing anything, but how dare you assume I'm not doing anything to barge in and cook me dinner? This happens, and she comes to knock on the door looking for signs of animal abuse. Puchinski comes to terms that he's now a dog. We never do find out if dinner was good or not. It's probably because she grabbed her kid and got the hell out of there when he answered the door with his gun. Oh, and after staking out the same ATM for about a week straight, they catch the killer. It was just so dramatic and riveting, let me tell you. So what did this magical episode teach us? We learned about friendship, love, teamwork, and if a neighbor and her daughter want to cook you dinner, don't pull out your gun. Unless, of course, the daughter's over 18 and... They're into that kind of stuff, if you know what I mean. Well, everyone, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Many more videos to come. You can also check out my website, whirlwindreports.com, and follow on Twitter. Until next time, cheers.